Hey, it's Doc Williams, and in this video, we're going to calculate theoretical and percent yields. This question is asking, during an investigation, 20 grams of lithium hydroxide reacts with an excess of potassium chloride, and it gives us the balanced chemical equation. Part A asks, what is the theoretical yield of lithium chloride? To calculate the theoretical yield, you're going to go through the same stoichiometry steps as you would if it asks how much lithium chloride is produced when 20 grams of lithium hydroxide reacts with an excess of potassium chloride. So to do that, we are starting with our given, which is 20 grams of lithium hydroxide. And since we are starting with grams of lithium hydroxide, we want to convert that to moles of lithium hydroxide. To do that, we go to the periodic table and use the masses on the periodic table to calculate our molar mass. So working a bit over here, I have one lithium and then lithium hydroxide at a mass of 6.94. So one times 6.94 will give me 6.94 grams per mole of lithium and lithium hydroxide. I have one oxygen times 15.999, and I'm getting these masses from the periodic table. And I have one hydrogen Adding these up, I will have a total molar mass of 111.921 grams per mole. Now I want to cancel out grams, so I'm going to put my grams at the bottom. And the number is always attached to the grams, and that leaves me with moles of lithium hydroxide at the top. So this cancels grams giving me moles. Now that I have moles of lithium hydroxide, I am going to convert the moles of lithium hydroxide to moles of lithium chloride. And in order to do that, I'm going to use mole ratio, put in lithium hydroxide at the bottom because that's what I want to cancel, and moles of lithium chloride at the top. Going to the chemical reaction, I'm going to use the coefficients in my mole ratio. So whenever I don't see a number, I know that that is a coefficient of one. So lithium chloride has a coefficient of one and lithium hydroxide has a coefficient of one. I am able to cancel moles of lithium hydroxide, leaving moles of lithium chloride. My last step is to convert moles of lithium chloride to grams of lithium chloride. And to do that, I will go back to the periodic table and calculate the molar mass of lithium chloride, putting moles at the bottom and grams of lithium chloride at the top. So if I look at the periodic table, I will see the mass of one lithium is 6.94 and the mass of one chlorine is 35 I have one of each, so I'm just going to add these two together in order to find my molar mass for this molecule, which will be 42.39 grams per mole. I want to put my grams, or put the number, I should say, at the top with the grams, and this will allow me to cancel out the moles, leaving grams of lithium chloride. Now I do my math. By multiplying everything across the top, that answer and dividing by what's at the bottom. And under perfect conditions, which is what theoretical yield means, under perfect conditions, I would produce 7.57 grams of lithium chloride. And if I'm looking at sig figs, then this would be 8 grams of lithium chloride. Now, 8 grams of lithium chloride is the amount that will be produced in perfect conditions. And when we say perfect conditions, that means there is no human error, no mishaps in measuring or anything like that. But in this case, only six grams of lithium chloride was actually produced in the lab. So what is the percent yield? So when they're asking for percent yield, they're asking you how much was actually produced out of what should have been produced. And for that, we have a formula, which is the percent yield is equal to the actual yield 
divided by the theoretical yield. times 100. Now that we have the theoretical yield and the actual yield, we just take these numbers and plug it into the equation. So we have 6 grams over 8 grams times 100, which is 75%. What this is saying is that 75% of what we would have expected to produce under perfect conditions was actually produced in the lab. As always, thank you for watching.